Hey guys, I hope you're ready to tackle your to-do list along with me. We were snowed in, the kids were home from school, Mike was working from home, and I had a big long list that I wanted to tackle. So join me for some deep cleaning, some real life messes, some mom life cleaning. I'm also gonna share some real life moments as I was trying to tackle everything and real life stuff happened. So I hope you're ready. We are going to get this done together. Hey guys, welcome to Jamie's Journey. I am truly, truly glad you're here and I hope this video gives you some inspiration, some motivation, or maybe some laughs because in this video, this is like a true mom life day. Um, we had an unexpected snow day. So the kids were home from school. Mike was supposed to be working in the office. So he was even home and I had a long list of things I wanted to accomplish. So you're essentially joining me from the morning to very late at night. We're going to be tackling the two to-do list, trying to figure out what I can get done. I was multitasking all day long and I'll be kind of sharing what the kids were doing. And here's an example of like the little clips I'm gonna keep in this video. Mike just walked in to my clip. <laughs> um, so we had gotten up, school was canceled the night before. So we already knew that. We kind of had like a slow morning. We relaxed. We had cereal and pancakes for breakfast. And then at this point, Avery, she was my, my little helper that day. She was looking up hairstyles on her iPod and then doing the twins hair while I was picking some things up. And I will tell you that throughout this entire day, I was doing things and then I was taking breaks because I was doing stuff with the kids. So this is certainly not like cleaning, like you're seeing an edited version of this day, number one. Um, and here I was just trying to get the, the kitchen and the living room cleaned up a little bit from the morning. And I was going to have the girls help me, but they were playing so well together. I was like, you know what? You girls just keep playing. If you're a mom, you know what I mean? When all three kids are just playing well together, you're almost like, just keep going. I'll clean up. So things have finally settled down with unpacking, thankfully, and now I can start focusing on actually cleaning my new home. Um, you are going to see me unpack a box in today's video because I feel like there's just still always stuff that needs to be unpacked, but for the most part, we're pretty much unpacked. But um, I had noticed that in our island, there were some marks um, it needed to be cleaned. And so I got some hot water and some Dawn dish soap that I was gonna go through and wipe down the island and the rest of the cabinets. I was just kind of like spot cleaning, mainly focusing on the handle area, on the other cabinets where we touch those a lot. But I get asked a lot about our kitchen island and what color it is. So it is a custom color 
based on the the cabinet company that we used so it's not I don't believe it's painted a specific color all that I have on our paperwork is that it says Alpine Alpine Galaxy so if you type in Al Alpine Galaxy cabinets something should come up in Google if you're curious but yeah I was just wiping all of those down And then when I was done here, I wanted to just kind of wipe down these window panes in this, this is the, the door that goes out to our back patio, which unfortunately we haven't gotten to enjoy yet because it's freezing cold here. I cannot wait for the spring to enjoy our pat our covered patio and our privacy in the backyard compared to our old house. Um, but we don't have grass, so we live in Northwest Ohio. We will not have grass until probably mid to late summer. They cannot hydro seed until the spring, until it gets warmer and the ground isn't frozen. So we have a lot of mud and dirt. We have zero grass. And so with the wind, it kind of gets kicked up and these doors were filthy. So I was going through and just quickly wiping them down. And I was using a combination, so on the inside, I was using my Jaws glass cleaner, and then I was going to go in with this. It's a e-cloth, an e-cloth glass and polishing cloth. I will have it linked below, but e-cloths are different than regular microfiber cloths. Regular microfiber cloths I use with a spray cleaner. E-cloths, you do not need to use a spray cleaner or any other cleaner. They clean effectively with just water, and this is their glass and polishing cloth. I kind of use it to buff after I use a window cleaner. So that's what I was doing inside. And then on the outside, I was using lots of water and Dawn dish soap and then polishing it off with that e-cloth. I'll talk a little bit more about snow days because um, I know it can kind of be different across the country or different countries but I also want to put a disclaimer in here so I'm upstairs the girls were busy they were doing some art stuff and I just want to make it clear that number one Avery will be eight in end of April so she is a huge help if I did not have Avery I would not have been able to just come upstairs number two Mike was in the office and he did have a lot of meetings this day but um, at this point he didn't have meetings and so what he did what he did was he just propped open the door so he was working but he was able to listen in case they needed something so if he wasn't home or if I didn't have Avery this would not all be possible so just want to throw that out there if you're at home by yourself and you're like oh she got so much done yeah I had some help obviously but what I did was I just wanted to quickly wipe down our bathroom 
mop and then I wanted to scrub our shower floor. I just try to keep up on that so it doesn't get too gross and I have a spray bottle that was half water and then half Dawn dish soap. Because it is a porcelain tile you want to use a pH neutral cleaner and Dawn dish soap is perfect for that. So I sprayed it on there, let it sit. You want to let your cleaner your cleaner or cleaning products dwell for a little bit to work its magic and that's when I wiped down the vanity and then I went in there and then I scrubbed with a scrub mommy sponge it's a non-abrasive non-scratching sponge and then I was going to use my Rubbermaid power scrubber to get in some areas where I notice a little bit of extra soap scum So I know I'll get asked about snow days. Um, so this is actually Avery's first snow day ever as far as getting school canceled. We School does not get canceled very often. I think we had gotten like something like eight inches of snow. Um, but yeah, Avery has never had a snow day before. So this was kind of like a special treat. Here in the north, we don't school doesn't get canceled very often. I will say if you're in a more rural district, which we are not, we are we are not in a rural district. The rural districts do get canceled a lot. In Northwest Ohio, we have a lot of fields, a lot of farming. And in those rural districts, the roads get very, very, very icy and slick. And I think it's more about the teenagers driving. So I think a lot of school districts err on the side of caution because with teenagers driving, it's just sometimes, or it's obviously not worth it to have them on the roads unless they absolutely need to. I know some districts will be a little bit more um, conservative in the uh, beginning of the winter. And then like when you're getting into like February and March, when it's rare that you're going to get a lot of snow days, they may be more open to giving a snow day because if, if the district hasn't had as many snow days I guess is what I'm saying so this was our first snow day and it was kind of fun that she got to have fun So this was actually a task that I had not originally planned on doing this day because I wanted the girls to help me clean up their own rooms. Avery is obviously capable of cleaning up her own room. Her room was pretty much just Barbies, so I had her go in and clean her room. The twins, I still need to help them clean up, but I also wanted them to help me as well. So these were two things that I added to the list since they were all home. and. Um, the twins are kind of funny. Um, they do share a room. They had wanted to share a room. They also share a bed. For right now, we're allowing them to share a bed as long as the, you know they go to bed at the right time. They don't get up. They don't play. And to be honest with you, 
does that happen? Yes, it does. It's not every night. Um, we do notice because they nap most days, but not every day. It's definitely better when they don't nap because I think they're getting out of that. They're getting to that age where they're ready to drop their nap. Um, we've been kind of alternating their nap days. Um, but this is the playroom, so I drug them in there because Avery was still cleaning up her room. And I was just trying to direct them to help me clean up. I still need to go through the toys in here and whittle down what we have. Um, but they did a pretty good job helping me. So this is the Shark Stratos cordless vacuum I recently got after Christmas. Um, it was on sale and I had some gift cards and I had kind of been eyeing it. So I bought it and it's pretty great. Um, one of the reasons why I love it is because it has a soft roller and a hard roller, which I think is really, really crucial and important for if you have carpet and hardwood. The, um, the soft roller and the hard roller are different for different types of flooring. And since I have a lot of carpet, that's ki kind of why I was eyeing this one. And it lives up to all of the um, rave reviews about it. I will also have it linked below. Oh, and this is an eye mask. So I sleep with an eye mask every night. And I know some people or some of you guys have seen that and you thought it was a bra. Now you guys, I know I am... <laughs> very small chested but i'm not that small i'm joking I jo i'm joking but it does it totally looks like a bra um but they're my favorite face masks i will have those linked below as well they're from amazon and they contour to your eyes and that's why i like them i even got addison stuck on eye masks she sleeps with an eye mask every night and during nap it's really cute i got her some unicorn masks and um so yeah i was just trying to do as much as I could up here. Um, oh, and I do need a new comforter for sure. Right now I'm just trying to make do with what I have until I know what I want. It gets very wrinkly. And so I was using some anti-wrinkle spray to make it look somewhat nice, but I am aware it's not big enough. It has shrunk. So you'll see like parts of my bed sticking out when I show you some more views. It's too small. It's too wrinkly, but I don't know. I'm trying to find a new one. So normally I try to edit out, you know, some clips just to make the video go smooth. But in this video, mom life cleaning, I wanted to share all those moments where I'm vacuuming and then a three-year-old walks right over my vacuum lines or Mike walks in the shot or I'm trying to do something and they're, you know, at my feet because that's real mom life. So I thought you guys would enjoy those little clips. But here it was lunchtime 
and the kids were kind of getting rowdy so i wanted to do something kind of different that i've noticed that my kids are becoming very picky when it comes to food and it's like a domino effect one says they don't want it or they don't like it and then the next next two say the same thing so i've been really trying to switch things up a little bit and something that i've noticed is just switching up the presentation of the food can make a huge difference so my girls especially avery they love just like a basic turkey sandwich just like turkey and bread <laughs> And what I did was I had some little cookie cutters and I just made them like little sandwiches off of the cookie cutters. Um, Addison loves dogs, so I had a dog bone and I did it with the cucumbers. Now I know some of you guys are gonna be like, you wasted so much. So you're not wrong there. Um, Avery did eat the scraps. Number one, I always save the scraps because we end up eating those or I'll even eat them. And I think one time someone was like, you're wasting so much. And I'm like, you're right, but with the crust, if I don't take off the crust, the girls won't eat it anyways. So at the end of the day, it's just like, if I want them to eat, it's just easier to take off the crust. Okay, so the kids just went outside to play and I'm still working up here and I'm still running around kind of doing some things and I thought I better start some laundry because you know when the kids come in, we'll have to wash all of their snow stuff. So I'm gonna throw in a load and Hopefully they stay outside for a little bit, run off some energy. <sighs> So I told you guys that even though it looks like I was just cleaning all day long and everything went smooth, that was not the case at all. So there was a big break of stuff we were doing after lunch and after the movie and this was much later, like almost dinner time. Mike was finally able to be done with work and then he wanted to take them outside. So, um, and that's the other part is I kind of, you know, you're watching this and you're seeing me being very productive and you're seeing Avery helping with the girls and you're seeing, you're seeing it, it appears like the day went perfectly. And I just want you to know it did not go well. There were lots of arguments. There were sibling fights. You know, I lost my cool. It it happened. I'm just obviously not going to go into detail of what happened, but if you're a mom, you have young children, you understand how these days go, especially when you have kids holed up in a house all day long. So just know that this is an edited version of my day and I'm not sharing everything if you guys catch my drift. But here I was just unpacking that last box of things. I think it was buried in the, the garage and I just was like, oh, I need to get this unpacked. Um, and then I was going to get dinner started. So I will have this recipe linked in the description. There's no recipe. You just brown some ground beef or some Italian um, sausage. And then, oh, this is like my little ground beef or ground sausage um, tool. I'll have that linked below as well. So you just brown that. Then you add in a jar of marinara sauce. I love the Rouse 
um, Marinara. I've gotten it at Aldi. It's cheaper there or at Costco because it can be a little pricey. So I love that. Um, and then you put in a block of cream cheese and then some cooked tornellini and then add some Parmesan cheese on top. The kids loved it. And like I said, picky eaters here. So when everyone eats and no one complains, it is it's nice. And I paired it with a salad because my girls really, really like salad. Despite being picky eaters, they do like salad. They like broccoli. They like green beans. Um, so yeah, that's what we had for dinner. Super easy and super simple. So the recipe that I'm about to make actually called for a pound of ground beef, um, which we didn't end up having. I was actually going to run out today and just with all the snow, I didn't get a chance, but luckily we had some Italian sausage. And when I said something to Mike, he was like, no, I actually think that would make it so much better. I make a, um, spaghetti squash, um, spaghetti squash, like pie type of thing. It's like a casserole. I should probably make that for you guys it's so good i love it it's like it tastes it's like healthier than like regular spaghetti because it's using spaghetti squash but it does not taste at all like spaghetti squash so and i use um ground sausage or italian sausage in that so i can totally understand what he's saying so maybe i'll make that for you guys here soon um but i think this will add a lot it'll just add a lot of other flavors to it so if you guys have italian sausage that would be a good idea or ground beef So this was obviously after dinner time and at this point let me tell you i think i hit a wall right before dinner and then after eating dinner i got a little bit of a like a pep um felt a little bit better but then shortly after dinner i was like all right i'm ready to lay down i was tired so we divided and conquered it was a bath night and well, especially with the girls playing out in snow they had come inside and were like very wet so i was going to have them help me clean up but the night had gotten away from us and they just needed to get a shower because they were going to have school the next day. So Mike took them upstairs to give them a bath and I cleaned up. This is typically how we divide and conquer. He has given them way more baths than I ever have. He's the bath guy and then I'm down here cleaning up. So I was just trying to pick, like do the basics, pick up, wipe things down and then vacuum. And I still had lots of laundry to fold. So I think for this week, one of the highest points of this week was the fact that the girls got a snow day. Like I said, Avery's never had a snow day. They got to play out in the snow. We have had kind of like my, um, well, we have had a very mild winter this year. And even last year, I can only think of one time the girls were able to go out and play in the snow. So I was glad that they got to go out and I got to see them have so much fun. We have a hill. I don't know if you guys saw in some of the clips 
of our backyard that I showed, we have a hill and Mike took them on the hill with some sleds and they had the time of their lives. They, Mike said they all went down on their belly and had lots of fun. So I think just seeing them have fun was the high point to my week. I think when you put yourself back into that that mindset of a young kid and how exciting snow is or a snow day or going outside and playing in the snow. Um, you know, it's just one of those things where you realize it's just one of the, the, mo the most exciting things of being a kid. So watching the excitement in their eyes was definitely the high point of my week. The low point, because it's all not sunshine and rainbows, right? Um, not this day, this is not what I'm talking about at all, but just the week in general, I felt like it was one of those weeks that everything seemed to go wrong and they were all very little things, minor things, but you know how you have those days or those weeks where everything goes well like it should, like you like the tests or things or errands that you need to do all take the, the amount of time that you thought. You're on time, you're early, um, nothing pops up that derails you, but then there's weeks where it feels like everything goes wrong. And again, it had nothing to do with school or the snow day. It had just been one of those weeks, but you know, what I try to tell myself is when this happens, when I get frustrated, will this matter a week from now? and 99% of the time it doesn't. So when I think about that, I'm like, okay, just breathe. It'll be better tomorrow, especially when you get some sleep. So I think it that putting it into perspective like that always makes me um, feel better when I know that like in a week, I'm not even gonna remember this. So at this point, the kids were all in bed. I was just trying to finish up a few things. Mike had taken a load of laundry upstairs. He was watching TV while I finished up. He was folding a, laundry, a load. I think we had three loads that we had to fold. So he took one load and then he likes to do it watching TV. I used to be like that, but now that I have this nice big laundry room, sometimes it's just easier for me to put on an audiobook or a podcast and even some music if I'm in the mood and just fold it all right here and just get it done and then it doesn't sit in a basket because what I do is I'll fold it all right here then I divide it up into baskets you know one basket for the twins room one for Avery's and then one for ours and then I just take it up to those rooms right away or with the girls I'll just set it outside their door um, but yeah just trying to stay on top of it I did not want to do this at all but I knew if I didn't do it then the next day I'd have four loads to do, so I did not want that to be hanging over my head the next day.
there we go. So accomplished most of the lists, which is good. We don't need to always accomplish the entire list. To be honest with you, I don't think that's really r realistic, especially when you're a mom and you're trying to juggle a million different things, especially when things, when your day does not go like it should, like a unexpected snow day and you have all three kids home all day long. Um, so we did clean the girls' room, didn't get to organize the drawers. I'll get to that eventually. No one, no one is going to see that, so no big deal. Um, I clean kind of the office. I didn't clean it as much as I could because the girls were coming in from outside. Didn't vacuum in there. Oh well. Um, did not hang the mirror. Did not clean the half bathroom. But all that matters is I got something done. If you make a list and you get one thing done, that is all that matters. Okay? Don't beat yourself up. There's always tomorrow. There's always next week. Just focus on one thing at a time. <laughs> oh you guys it has been a day I think I'm extra tired because I was multitasking all day long like normally I don't do this much in one day um and normally I don't have the kids all day long um because even like the twins the twins didn't even nap today it was just easier to keep them up. They were entertaining Avery. Avery wanted them to stay up and they don't really need a nap anymore. They just, they need the nap, but they don't have to have the nap if that makes sense. Um, so it's been a long day and I'm exhausted. I'm sure you guys can tell, but I am happy with what I got done. I obviously did not accomplish my list accomplish your list. I would have actually been surprised if I would have accomplished that list, even if it would have been a normal day and the girls were not home. So I might continue the list later this week. We'll see. So I don't know if I'm ending the video here, if there's more. I really wanted to hang the mirror in the bathroom because we don't have a mirror down here. And a lot of times, um, like you're walking out the door, sometimes I'll take like a quick look at my face before like drop off or if I like run errands really quickly. Um, so I don't like not having a mirror down here. So I wanted to get that done tonight, but it's like 9.15 and I am exhausted. Mike's still folding laundry and I'm just like, I don't wanna do it. So there might be more, I might show you that, but this might be it, <laughs> I don't know. Um, and I, the other thing that I wanted to add is, you guys probably watched this video and you're seeing me, you know, you're seeing an edited version of today. So keep that in mind, a very edited version. Um, you're not gonna see me losing my cool. You're not gonna see me yelling. You're not gonna see the fighting and the whining and the I'm bored and I want a snack. You're not gonna see all of that. But did all of that happen? Absolutely. So, I don't know. I just, that's something that I wanted to add in because I am thinking about all of the clips that I put in today's video and I just know that it's just gonna look like I got all of this done with all three kids and it just was not that smooth and easy at all. Like it was not easy and I think I'm just glad that school is back in session tomorrow. <laughs> um, I just don't want to sugarcoat anything and make you think that it was easy because it was not at all. But to be honest with you, my motivation for trying to get all this done, you're like, well, why didn't you just finish it tomorrow? It's because I don't really have a lot to do tomorrow. I kind of want to film some reels um, when the girls are napping and that's it. Like I want to relax. So I would rather just like go, 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 like go hardcore one day and then relax the next day than spreading it out. So that was my motivation to keep going. So that's why I push myself all day today. Um, these kind of videos are kind of fun because you get to like join me and be like, okay, what can we do in this one day when we have a, other things, other mom things to do, right? It's kind of fun for me to, to um, see what I can get done. And maybe you guys can do it along with me, but you guys may not like this. So who knows if I'll continue it. If you guys like it, I'll keep doing it. If you don't, I may have to figure something else out, 